hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video i have included recipes of simple beef majboos with arabic tomato sauce a traditional malabar iftar dish palwa ekya and mango milkshake recipe hope you will like it keep watching Grind a handful of coriander leaves with water in a mixer and keep aside. Add 2 tablespoons of oil to a hot biryani pot and add 1 sliced onion and saute well. Now add the grinded coriander leaves and saute well. Add 1 dry lemon, 2 cinnamon sticks, quarter teaspoon coriander seeds, quarter teaspoon black pepper seeds, six to seven cloves, four green chilies, one teaspoon ajbos powder. Half piece of a Maggi cube. All together mix well. Add two chopped tomatoes. Here I have cooked 500 grams of beef with half teaspoon pepper powder, one teaspoon black pepper powder, salt and half glass of water. Just measure the gravy which can be used for cooking the rice. Add cooked beef into the masala and mix well. Here I am using 2 cups of basmati rice, so I have to use 4 cups of water. 1 cup gravy is already there, so remaining 3 cups water is added. Add salt. Cover it and let it boil. To prepare Arabic sauce, boil two tomatoes and peel off the skin. the rice which is soaked for one hour to the boiling mixture. Mix it very well, cover it and cook it until the rice is done. Arabic sauce, add 3 garlic, 2 green chilies, some coriander leaves and 2 tomatoes. Give a 
a gentle mix in between and cook it in low flame. Remove the skin of the tomatoes and grind it with garlic, green chili and coriander leaves. In between, I am preparing mango milkshake. Now the rice is cooked well and give a gentle mix. Grind mango pieces with ice cubes. Pour this mango puree to the milk and mix well. sugar or condensed milk of your choice. Here I am not using any of these. Arabic tomato sauce is ready and add salt to taste. For preparing traditional Malabar recipe, palva erka. Take 3 cups of water in a saucepan and add a pinch of salt. Take two ripe plantains and cut into small pieces. Add quarter cup washed and drained sabudana to the boiling water. Sabudana is nothing but tapioca bowls. Keep on stirring and let it cook until the balls becomes transparent. Add plantains to this and cook it until it gets softer. You can add 2 to 3 tablespoons of sugar. Add quarter cup milk and mix well. Instead of milk, you can use coconut milk also. You can add cardamom, which is optional. Nuts and raisins are usually used for seasoning palvarika. Here I am using badam instead of cashew nuts and dates pieces instead of raisins. The smell is awesome when this fries in the ghee. Palvarka and immediately close with the lid to lock the flavor.
adding mango pieces to the shape to get some bites. That's all about today's video. Hope you like it. See you in next video. Till then, bye bye.